definitely the two toughest games I'd say I've ever played. Just just with the heat and the altitude, you know, it was it was so hard to, to get to kinda recover and get back in the game and, you know, um just stay in it for the eighty minutes. It was so hard it was tough, like, you know. Um definitely a lot tougher going out there and playing the altitude and the heat. It was definitely some it was a good learning for me anyway to to experience what that's like and you know, I suppose just that feeling of, of, of just completely out of breath, like you know, you've nothing left like you know. I suppose we were obviously disappointed with, with the two losses like um but I think as a group we probably gained a lot. Um especially for all the younger fellas like myself, you know, I suppose our, a lot of fellas first time being out in South Africa and playing games and I suppose the altitude and heat obviously had a big massive inf or impact on, you know, the game and stuff as well. Um, so definitely getting used to that and getting to experience that was definitely helpful for us as young fellas in there. I suppose like you're obviously going to spend a lot more time with, with, with fellas around the squad so you get to know probably even a bit better and I suppose you, there's a bit of a tighter knit group at, at the end of it, you know, because you're spending, you know, 24 hours a day with each other like so um, it definitely improves getting to know each other anyway, you know, um, and just getting to know each other a bit better. I, I suppose it's, it's constantly you know, working on my Achilles still, even now when I'm back, you know, I, I keep need to, you know, even little rehab bits here and there every day, like just gonna keep on top of it. But like, you know, it's giving me no grief, you know, I feel back to normal now really as such. Um, you know, just, I suppose, just playing now is the main thing, you know, sharpening up a bit more. Um, Cause you know, I was out for a year, like, so it's, it's a long time. And, you know, just trying to, you know, match, match fitness, I suppose, is probably the big thing, you know, and, and just match sharpness. Like, like, I suppose at the start of the year, all I want to do is just come back and play rugby, um, you know, to be back playing and play for Munster. Like, so I suppose I'm quite happy how things have gone so far. Um, but definitely there's a lot more to, to work on for me anyway. Um, you know, definitely still getting used to a few things around the pitch and stuff. But uh, yeah, no, I'm happy enough. I actually haven't played against them myself before, but uh, looking at their team and preview them, they're, they're a strong side, like in... You know, we're under no illusions now. It'll be it'll be a very tough game at the weekend, but you know, I feel we're, we're prepping well and, and we trained well today, so really looking forward to it now. But yeah, it'll be it'll be a tough game, all right? Yeah, oh, no doubt about that. We put in a an amazing effort in that first sixty minutes. Um, some beautiful tries in that first half. Unlucky with that try in the second half to be um, taken away from us. Um, and then yeah, you could you could clearly see that we'd kind of spent ourselves. Um, at the 60 minute mark and it was really hard. The boys kept pushing and pushing and pushing, but we just couldn't quite hold on there. I think if we had a little bit more time on the clock, we started to find our rhythm again there just right at the end, but it was too late. Yeah, outstanding. Um, Josh Richley, particularly, I think in that Lions game was outstanding. Some of the effort um, that he put off the ball, um, you know, their two tries, he was the one right at the end there chasing them. Um, and then, you know, his, his set piece detail, uh, his detail around the paddock, the energy that he brings to the team was was tremendous, and then likewise with Alex, I thought he had two tremendous games. Um, was cramping in that last game, but um, put everything into every minute he had out there on the field, and I thought, yeah, both games he was he was tremendous for us. Oh, it's been very good. I mean, Jake's improved um, out of sight. He's got a, a really good skill set as a five eight, um, really good composure on the field. Uh, and the boys are all around him. Um, we haven't really spoken about it too much in terms of his move. He's he's definitely part of the team and will, will stay part of the team until the end of the season. There's no doubt about that. I think it's it's a similar scenario with the other five eights. Um, it's been a real pleasure to work with you know the young five eights, including Joey, um, in the system here, and and we've seen really big benefits um, from COVID and being together. And and this tour, this last tour, particularly with Jake. Um, you know, we had a, had a really good opportunity to bond on that tour and, and uh, you know, there's a real tight-knit feel in the team at the moment and, and Jake's in the middle of all that. I mean, th th there's a fair amount of travel in that. We've got a six-day turnaround as well on the back of that. So we, we got on a, f a flight that night after the Lions game. Um, we arrived back into Dublin about 8am and, you know, back at home by 11.30 uh, midday for most guys um, on Sunday. We had the Monday off and we had a really light Tuesday and then we put a good session in today. So we're freshening them up this week, but you definitely get a kick out of that altitude. Um, you know, you've got Pretoria, which was our first week or first 10 days we're in Pretoria. And then we played in Johannesburg, which is even higher again. So yeah, there's, there's definitely gonna be some benefits um, from that trip for us in terms of altitude training, acclimatizing to the heat. Hopefully the weather stays the way it has today. Um, you know, we're expecting 18 degrees on the weekend. so. I think it's setting us up well for the next couple of games for sure.